Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play the Christmas version of our graphing puzzle game. We also have a graphing puzzle one and a graphing puzzle two and a graphing puzzle Halloween version. And really, there's not uh, any difference really between uh, the versions. They, they play, play pretty much the same. There's uh, some graphics change, stuff like that. But they basically play the same. And uh, so once you play one, you'll know how to play the other. Um, but in this video, this should be a quick video, just show you how to uh, actually I will complete the first uh, image, Christmas image, um, and uh, show you how to play and show you what all the buttons are and everything like that. If you're not familiar with Math Nook, we have lots of free math games to play as well as puzzle games and teaching tools to use and everything's free to play and use and there's never any membership or sign up required. Um, when you find, when you, if you're looking for these games, you can go to the um, main page on Math Nook and there's a uh, section towards the top that lists all the math skills uh, have have text links to uh, the pages that have those skills and on one of those links will will say coordinate grid and if you click the coordinate grid text link it will take you to the page on math nook that has all the coordinate grid games and this one will be on there along with the other ones and then the other games that we also have that involve the uh, coordinate grid okay so when you first start the game let's take a look this is the menu you'll see um, the More Games button will take you to LOF Games. They're like Math Nook. They're our sister site. They have free math games and puzzle games to play. And, of course, everything's free to use. Uh, I mean, free to play, I'm sorry. And there's never any membership or sign-up required. The Video button, if you click this, it will take you to the page on Math Nook that has this video in case you'd like to see it again. The Instructions, um, really not uh, much to say. It just tells you how to play, but since I'm going over that, I'm going to go ahead and back out to the main menu. Let's go ahead and click, click play and you have the choice of playing on quadrant one which is where all the x and y values will have a positive value and or you can play uh, choose to play on all four quadrants or you can go back to the main menu let's go ahead I, i'll show you what both of them look like um, let's look at quadrant one relax mode is where you can make unlimited mistakes um, and you know that's probably one i like and i recommend because it's very easy to make mistakes especially if you're playing on a mobile phone where the coordinate uh, uh, grid looks pretty small and it's harder to hit the individual uh, you know, plotting points that you want to get in the challenge mode you'll only have i believe there's three you can make three errors on each image and then it starts over again but it's definitely more challenging, so if you're looking for something like that, that would be the game to play. Let's take a look at relax mode. If you, uh, when you first start, you're going to have the first image that you can uh, create is uh, available, and after you create the first one, you'll get the second one will turn blue, and you can play that one and so on until you do all ten of them. If you click the clear data button, it's going to say, do you want to reset the level progress? You, you click the check mark if you'd like to, the X if you don't. Uh, at this point, it really doesn't make any difference. What that would do is if somebody else had been playing in here and they'd done all 10 of the levels, all these would be blue. You could play any one of them. If you wanted to reset it, you would just come in here and say, you, you want, when it asks you to, if you want to reset the levels, you'd say, yep. And it takes you back to the main menu, and you go back in, and it would this would be the only one available to play. Okay, let's take a look at the first um, image. And it's level one. There's the uh, standard turn the sound on and off. You can't hear the sound. I have it down so I can concentrate a little bit, make it a little bit easier for me. This turns the music on and off, and this will take you back to the main menu. This is level one. It's the little hint or description says decorate me, and you'll see why in a second. Plot each of the coordinate pairs listed below. So you plot them just like you read, left to right, top to bottom. So let's go ahead and hit 10, 18, 6, 13, let's see, 9, 13, 5, 9, oop, that was one off, 5, 9, Eight nine. Now, if I'd have been playing the other version, that would have counted a mistake. 
four across five. There we go. And then there is ten five. You can see I've been playing this one for a while. This one, uh, start down here. You notice all of these are green. And if I get one wrong, it says it shows up as red and it's wrong. And it shows you which one's wrong and which one you need to plot. So I'm going to do 10 across, 18, 14, 13, um, 11, 13, and now 15, 9. Uh, let's see. Okay. And then 12, 9, 16 across, 5 up. And last but not least, 10, 5. And you see it fills in when you do it correctly. 10 across 5, again, 9, 5. 9 across 3. Oop. Uh, how about that one? Yeah, and then 10, 3. And we're going to do 10, 5, 11, 5. And uh, probably won't do it this quick in it because I've done this quite this particular one quite a few times in testing. Uh, 11 cross 3. Hopefully you can see this on the video. Um, it's probably going to look a little stretched out because of the uh, dimensions of the vi video. Uh, but all these squares, they're actually squares and not rectangles. So it'll look like the regular coordinate grid that you're used to when you play. 10, 3. And this is the last one. And it gets rid of the points. It says, congratulations, you solved the puzzle. Uh, and you can click now. This one will take you uh, to the next level. Oh, it says drag this box to view your creation. You can drag it and see that it is a Christmas tree that you've created. And uh, you go to the next one. You get a whole new set of uh, coordinate pairs to plot. And this level, level two says Santa's lid. And I'll let you figure out which, what that is. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look now that I've done the first one. Let's go ahead and all four quadrants. And here's a Christmas tree again. Let's see, I think it would be there. Uh, negative four. See, so you have now you have all four quadrants here. Uh, now you have negative values, of course. But it's the same. Um, let's see if I got that one. I think that's it. Yeah. Um, it's the same image. Let's see if I can do it real quick. It's negative six, negative five. And then. I'm not going to name the points because, again, I've done this. Uh, but I'll show you. Oop. There we go. That, 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 that. And negative one across negative seven. And last but not least, zero, seven. And so you can see it's the same image, but you, the, the uh, coordinate pairs are all, are all in, in, the, it uses the uh, four quadrants versus just quadrant one. So it takes me back to the main menu. That's how you play that. Like I said, this is a Christmas version of uh, this game. At the bottom of the, ga uh, the game, I don't know if I have that. Yeah. So let's go ahead and pull this up. On the game page, you can see where we have links to Graphing Puzzle 1 and Graphing Puzzle 2. Uh, the Halloween version isn't in there, but it is on the coordinate grid play uh, coordinate grid page on math nook so you can find it there if that's what you want to play and you know every round the holidays it'll be up uh, around Halloween we'll put it up in uh, prominently so you can find it a lot easier but you can still find it uh, it like I said by going to the coordinate grid text link towards the top of uh, the main menu the main page on mathnook.com Okay, well, that's how you play the game. I hope you enjoy playing this uh, during the holidays. I hope, and actually, I hope you have a great holiday. And I uh, hope this helps some, and thanks for watching.